beautiful day here in Orlando. I have two days of corporate work that I want to show you guys, but first I wanted to share two inquiries that I got. First one was to DP a short film. It was extremely low budget. I had to pass because I was already booked, but I think it would have been cool. Second one is a company wanted to do a brand integration for this vlog which is crazy because I just started this vlog. I've made 20 of them and they have increased my SEO on Google. I've had companies from out of state, out of country, country contact me to work for them. And I, it is just showing more people that I do what I do. Very helpful when you're trying to get new clients. And so much so that now this company has asked me to uh, talk about their product, put it in the vlog. What they don't know is I've already worked for them and they already love my work. I've shot for one of their biggest influencers, so I know how this already goes. The interesting thing is the compensation that they would give me for this is pretty much peanuts compared to what he gets because he has a 100K following follower audience that he can leverage. I don't have that, I can't leverage it. So. I still think this would be a really cool case study to show people if they're interested in social media marketing, how does it work when you are the production company? How does it work when you're in front of the camera promoting the product? And, and if there's anything that you guys want to see, I'm gonna continue with this process working with them, but let me know and I can share because this is a, a very common thing happening. Brand integrations, reels, TikTok, Instagram, and I do some of these, but usually for other people. This will be an interesting thing where I can show you guys what it's like all in-house. I stole this tip from a production company that I work for. They have 10 camera kits, 10 lighting kits, and I use their gear. So they will assign me a color and I'll go in and get purple camera kit. So I adopted that system into my equipment. So if I have an assistant that I say, hey, can you grab me the orange lighting kit? They can grab the light, they know which stand, they know which cable, which cap. Everything's very easy to see because when everything's in here, it looks very, very similar. And it just comes down to having a nice color system. My time-lapse gear just arrived. I have the slider, the motorized head. I've never used this before, so I'm going to rent it out of my own pocket to familiarize myself with it. And that way, when I rent it for the actual job, the 12 day time lapse project, I'll already know how it works and what to do. This is an interesting setup. So this red carpet area is gonna be used for another production. And that's why these two big lights on rolling stands are here. They're gonna stay here and we are gonna multi-purpose this setup and conduct a quick interview, a couple quick interviews um, when they are not shooting. So we're setting this up to just have an XLR hang overhead and then we'll be putting this stand behind the curtain to get it out of the way. So this is what our talent would see. I'm just flipping the monitor around so I can look at the framing, but obviously it'll be the other way when I'm operating. We got the mic directly overhead, and then these two big, soft uh, two by ones. It's impacting patient lives. And especially at a time of year like this, where there's family celebrations. And One of the benefits of having an articulating screen is I can flip it around so my producer can see it. So definitely not as light as an A7S III, but this is the first time flying the 18 35 on it. Really convenient to have a 1.8 at all times and some zoom range. 18 35 is really nice. When there's a live editor on site, I usually just hand them the SD card, but I find it's a little bit more professional and secure to throw the SD card in the case that they come with. That way it protects the metal contacts on the back of the card. It's harder to lose when you hand it off and just overall a little safer. One minute you love your rig and then the next minute you start to feel inadequate.
This thing's crazy. I just looked up this tripod head on B&H. It's a $5,000 head. I don't know how much the legs are or any of the other accessories, but this thing is crazy. It's got a VCT plate. You can throw it on sticks, throw it on your shoulder just by the turning that lever and lifting up. 4K, probably a super small sensor, but ton of focal range on that lens. There it is, Sam. Sam from Texas, everybody. Give her a big howdy when she heads in. What was really cool is you got to see a team come together. That was a little hot when they were doing those. That's not part of the doing those. But what you do is, is you actually come together for that shared purpose. This is conference videography 101. Eventually you get tired of seeing eye level shots, everything looking the same. So you find the closest escalator and get a top down angle. Final verdict, this thing is heavy. A lot heavier than an A7S III, but it has ND. And internal ND is worth a lot, a lot of pain. Tomorrow I need to bring a power bar because my energy dropped off fast. I don't know what it was, but uh, it's always good to keep some extra stuff in your pocket. And uh, yeah, quick breakdown. Still wish I had that doctor bag. Sometimes corporate days are long and grindy and sometimes they're like today. Get in at 11, leave at 6. Not bad at all. As a contractor, I'm working with these production companies who are coming in from out of town. They don't know what the lay of the land. They're hiring someone new that they've never worked with before. So. I always find it very important to have a good first impression with them. I can tell that they're sizing me up. They're trying to see, can I send him somewhere without my supervision? Can he talk to the client? Will he be able to figure things out? You know, do I need to micromanage him? So very good to have a good first impression and, you know, share what you're competent at, what you uh, don't need any second guessing. And then also, you know, let them know if there's something that uh, you may not be able to handle. It's better than a, a miscommunication that leads to a big problem later. So that was the end of day one. Um, I have another day scheduled and I potentially just got put on for a third day with this conference.